I came to know just yesterday that actually we are, I'm short of missing it, that we are experiencing a beautiful natural phenomenon. Actually, it's a celestial phenomenon. Don't you know that the, a comet is visible during the night these past days? I don't know if you have known that. And we are told the next thing this will come again is thousands of years from, from today and from now. I came to know this yesterday and then I went out and said, oh no, it's a cloudy evening, you cannot see it. The comet is known as uh, C slash 2020F3. NASA discovered this last March, end of March, towards the end of March. And it is closest to the Earth today and tonight. And here in Cebu, it can be seen. Comet is a beautiful natural phenomenon. It's called, NASA called this a NEOWISE. Actually, NEOWISE is an acronym to mean Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. And tonight, it's closest to the Earth. And one warning, it says, if you are to see this, you could see this with a naked eye, but make it sure that you are a short of away from city lights, from the not natural lights, from artificial lights of the city. This is a beautiful warning. To see the beauty of this natural phenomenon celestial, you have to turn away from artificial lights. You have to be away from city lights, as we may say, because it hinders a good view of what this natural light is. This sounds beautiful warning, because that is what Christ is to us. He says he is the light. That is what we celebrate on Easter. We say Christ is our light. But sometimes we cannot see him clearly because of the city lights. We cannot see the beauty of how beautiful this light is, how natural the light that Jesus is. Because in our lives we have been used to city lights. We have so many artificial lights at present. We could only see this light away from city lights. This is a beautiful warning. And I think that is what is being said by Jesus in today's gospel. Why do you speak to them in parables? Not that they could not see, they could not hear, but just Christ is reminding us that the beauty of goodness of God, the beauty of God's creation, the beauty of God's kingdom is there given. It's natural. Only sometimes you are hindered from seeing it because of so many city lights in ourselves. You cannot see it. You cannot see with the eyes of faith because of these hindrances. That is why he speaks in parables, so natural. Just this image, just this image. When a child is born, the mother, the parents kiss the child and then says to the child, you are so beautiful. You are so lovely. You are the fairest of all. That is why when a child grows up, and someone else says to him or her, you do not look good. You are dull. You are not so good. This child now grown up feels bad. Feels bad. Why? Because at the very start, at the very beginning, he, has, he or she is being used to being loved. He or she is told, he or she is beautiful, good. 
And now someone else says, you are not that good. You are not that beautiful. That is why we feel bad for it. It goes the same with God. God created us good, true, and beautiful. That is our nature. Good, true, and beautiful. And city lights change that. We have our own standards of what is true, good, and beautiful. St. Ignatius of Loyola has this warning, a beautiful warning. He says, be careful how our world is building us. We are moved from wealth. Then after wealth, you are given honor, appreciation because you are wealthy. And then next to it, the third is pride. It's a beautiful equation from St. Ignatius of Loyola and the Jesuits. First is wealth. Then you're appreciated, you're honored, you're worshipped because you're wealthy. And then next is, slowly creeping in, is pride. Can you not say it when you gather as a family? Then the next thing being mentioned is the salary of one person, the, the business of one person growing. And then in that family, that one person was the highest salary. That person whose business is working. He is being worshipped and honored. He takes the best place or seat in the dining table. And he's, he's, he or she is being listened to. Why? It starts with wealth. It starts with having more. And then, because you are being worshipped, honored, adored, slowly creeping in. We do not know. Slowly creeping in is pride. This are created by city lights. A beautiful warning. If you want to see the comet happening tonight closest to the earth, move away from city lights. I want this experience to mean not just a physical experience. I want this experience to mean our own spiritual experience. If you want to see the light of Jesus, shh, Turn off these artificial lights. These days, these crisis days we are into, much of the city lights are off. Off. We do hope and pray. We truly see Jesus in our midst. Not darkness, but natural light coming out. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, as we bring before God our intentions and prayers, I want to say it again. I want to invite you, do not miss this once in centuries natural phenomenon. Closest to the earth tonight is this comet. Between 7 to 8 in the evening. You want to see it clearly? Move away from city lights. I want to say it again. Let this not just be a physical experience. Let it be a spiritual journey. If you want to see Jesus so natural, so good and true, then turn off those city lights.